All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Life in Eastern Sierra. Today is Friday, October 25th, 2023. We're down here at the airport. We're about to do a dog run. What do you think, Rin? Say hi to the people. All right. <laughs> As you can see on the mountain there, in this Mammoth Mountain, they got a little bit of snow. I want to say on Wednesday, we had a storm front move in with uh, heavy wind and some rain and sleet and a little bit of snow up top in the higher elevations. So that was fun. A little taste of uh, winter here. A little warning to everybody to get prepared. Uh, at any rate, figured that this would be a good spot for the intro to this video. Uh, it's entitled Damage Report. I shot most of this video back in the month of June and May, I believe. May and June. Uh, driving around town, shooting video of all the damage as the snow melts and everything starts poking out. Um, I don't think there's anybody in town that didn't sustain some kind of damage to their home, property, or business. We had damage to our house. We have our deck, front deck, and our garage. Uh, the business had some roof damage. Luckily, that was taken care of by the landlord. Uh, yeah, so if you follow this channel, you know what we were dealing with last winter, the record-setting snow. At any rate, we're going to drive around here, show you some clips of the damage, and then we'll take you back to our house and explain what we're doing and how we're getting prepared for this upcoming winter which is coming pretty quick everything is turning the leaves turn pretty quick all the sagebrush down here is now brown it's been beautiful uh we didn't get that much good fall colors this year i'm not sure what happened there usually this whole valley here is all colored up uh but it was only for like a couple weeks at most and then everything all the leaves fell off this last storm all right at any rate we're gonna go for a run i'll stop babbling you guys enjoy a tour of the damage and then, like I said, we'll take you back to the house and explain what we're doing next. All right, more to come. Okay, so we're back at the house. Uh, not too much has changed since the winter time. Um, I did remove the railing here because this whole front deck is getting, excuse me, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I was just cutting some tree branches. This whole front deck is getting replaced, uh, ripped out. We're gonna try and salvage it, but it is too far gone, too damaged. Uh, all the beams, everything. So uh, like the garage, and all these beams damaged, these joists, every one of them, if you remember from our uh, previous videos, every one of them is cracked, broken. Can't really tell now, but it's totally toast. So both this garage and this front deck are a total rip down, start from scratch job. 
which is why it is taking so long. Uh, hopefully, like I said, we get the permits. Hopefully by the end of the day, it's getting kind of late in the afternoon and I haven't heard anything back, so that's kind of nerve-wracking. Uh, but regardless, at some point, garage is going to get done, front deck's going to get done, and then next summer, the hopefully back deck will get replaced. Uh, regardless, we, were, we went ahead and painted the whole front of the house, all new door and window trim throughout, everything sealed, caulked, looking good for the winter time. And then uh, once we get done this, obviously it'll all match. Uh, what else we've done? Over the summertime, we got our new pellet stove in. I just put away three tons worth of pellets. So they're all on the back under cover. Uh, what else do we do? Uh, even though you, it doesn't look like it, because the garage is a mess in the moment, but we trashed out a whole bunch of stuff that got ruined. Um, so yeah, that was a bummer. We had this whole back little shed area that I ripped out. That all leaked. We lost everything. Every Christmas decoration, every everything imagined. But most of my tools were salvageable. Uh, all those things not so lucky, like golf clubs and all that stuff. So that wasn't too fun. Uh, other than that, today we just also did some tree trimming here. Kind of open this avenue up because this is where all the snow is going to get pushed. You can see way up top there is where I had to cut branches off last winter time. That's how high the snow was. That is pretty much at the line of the roof. So if you didn't see our previous videos of the snow, that's how high it was in the in the front. So we're going to clean up a couple more branches here. And that way we have a good line to shoot all the snow out. And then hopefully... By the time it starts snowing, we have this new front deck done. Uh, before there was a, a small little deck entryway in here that I got rid of. So now, ideally, the skid steer plow will be able to come in up the garage, oh, excuse me, up the driveway, and then turn and be able to also this whole area. Save me from snow blowing all that. But we'll see. Uh, yeah, a lot of stuff to go, still to come. A lot of work to be done. Uh, I don't know what's going to get done first, the front deck or the garage. I'm thinking the garage is going to have to get done first because we got to rip the whole thing down, reframe it, get joy system, trust system for the, the roof and all that. That's the biggest project. So I'm hoping we're going to be able to do that. I doubt we're going to be able to do both before the snow starts flying here. Uh, so this might have to wait until springtime or summer which will just shore it up and make sure, I mean, it can't get any worse than it already is. And with the railing gone, it's gonna be easy to just push the snow right off the, the deck. This will hopefully be the big project. So, fingers crossed, a lot of work to be done. And uh, yeah, more updates to come. Uh, what else, on the insurance front, uh, FEMA did nothing for us after all the promises, and they're very nice people. They promised everybody in town money, and none of them came through. Same thing with the insurance. For all this damage to the property, my insurance company came back with a $2,000 take it or leave it uh, quote. And which is hilarious because $2,000 won't even cover the lumber for the front of this house, let alone for the garage, let alone for both of them. So that is fun times. Uh, nothing better than insurance scams just all the time. They just nickel and dime you. And they won't even give me the two grand until I submit all the bills and everything. So that's fun times. That's going to be a, a rough going here once we get everything done. At any rate, is what it is. Another, another joyful, whatever you want to call it, living here in the mountains. So, all right, enough babbling. More to come, hopefully. Hopefully I have those plans and uh, permits in hand here soon. And then we'll get on going for some video of cleaning everything out here, demoing everything, and rebuilding, hopefully soon. All right, thanks for watching, guys. More to come.